so hello guys welcome to my channel this time on if you are actually new um i will just uh, say you are welcome to my channel and please if you find my my content interesting don't forget to actually press the subscribe button and uh, notification button so that all the time i have uh, new videos you will be actually uh, notified that liz has actually posted a new video so today i'm actually so excited um actually one month uh, post part two and uh, i want to actually uh, share with you the um, for those people who don't know actually if you're actually uh, faced on my like it's your first time to be on my channel i actually had a c-section um one month ago of which i underwent uh, about uh, three uh surgeries and um I've had a healing process, so today I want to share actually a little bit of some tips on recovery from C-section and also what to expect and also some other tips on the healing process um, for uh, cesarean. So um, actually, uh, <laughs> I don't know why, where to start from, but uh, all I can say is that uh, first of all, I'll actually talk about uh, the moment here in the operation room after that cesarean what happens what is next so once you're actually done with the, the cutting the baby is out you're actually okay and uh, your baby is also fine then you are actually removed from the uh, operation room and also you're taken to the recovery room so in there you have to actually expect that uh, you will be on the in the uh, uh, the gown of which there's a hospital gown that they normally give out uh, you won't be putting on your own clothes so that's actually something that is uh, making you feel a little bit so comfortable because uh, if you are putting on tight things it's not uh, so comfortable when you have a cesarean so uh, you have to actually expect uh, when you have a c-section just know that uh, you will have a vaginal bleeding um, though in my case it was a little bit uh, different like this time around because i had uh, um, my uterus removed from my uh, womb so it was a little bit uh, different uh, but anyway that's a story for another day i'll actually uh, share my recovery with that as well so and also some other things that i've actually experienced with uh, uh with the removal of my uterus so let's actually concentrate on this uh, uh what, the first day and normally when you have a c-section you can't uh, move like out of bed to start walking by yourself it's not so uh, easy anyway i don't know with other people but with me it's like you can't move you your, your legs actually get to be swollen and uh, you you feel a little bit like uh, you you just feel pain like the pain which is uh you can't uh, you can't explain it but it is so um it's actually uh, uh important for you to like let me say on the first day it's not easy but now on the second day i, I would actually advise you to actually start slowly moving maybe your legs or maybe you can uh, try by all means uh, to see because uh, if you are not moving uh though it's so painful i'm not gonna lie to you but you need to make your your legs moving so that you can recover a little bit uh, quicker and also so that uh, you your stool also um, comes back to normal but uh, all i can encourage you is that to, after the c-section please don't be a hero you actually need that to take uh, your medicine the, like the painkillers you need them maybe every after four hours normally for me i actually carried my extra extra painkillers because i've had my other uh, two uh, c-section before i had this one so i knew the experience that i had uh, with my first uh, um uh, pregnancy so i decided to like carry along with me uh, some extra painkillers of which i could take maybe sometimes after three hours or two hours when i ask you sometimes you find that you you request for the painkillers and the nurses are not giving you that so you have to be prepared going to the uh, uh if you are going to plan for c-section just carry along with you painkillers so um 
uh, what you also have to expect is that you will get constipation. Honestly speaking, you have to know that constipation will actually kill you so badly. But um, you can request for the uh, stool softener, um, of which this they don't normally give. But uh, like with my other uh, sister, they never gave me. I had to wait for some three to four days in order for me to have my uh, my still uh, coming back like maybe for me to go to toilet so like uh, you have to expect that you will have a, 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 a um, constipation you will have this and uh, it will take time so you have to take a lot of water you have to eat when they bring you some food like let's say vegetables take a lot of that so that it can help you as well so that uh, you get back to normal having your normal stew uh, because if you you continue having like uh, you lays up eating a, a lot of vegetables and also you don't want to drink enough and everything you get to have hemorrhoids because when you force yourself uh, in that bathroom like when you want to poo i'm telling you you end up having hemorrhoids and hemorrhoids are something that will actually give you another pain so you have to make sure that uh, you drink a lot of water uh, just to eat healthy while you are in the hospital and also you need also to rest as well so when it comes to um the cleaning of your 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 uh, incision what you have to know is that uh i think you don't need the uh, soap you just have to go on the shower you let water pass through like uh, go through your, your your incision and you just let it a little bit clean then after that you are done you don't need to um put soap on it and after that in the operation room uh not in the operation in the in the bathroom there they normally give these uh, big uh, uh, pads of which you can actually use them to just uh, dry up your uh the part of your incision and just to let a clean one which is dry after using the other one and you let it just uh, there you put on your panty and everything else just to to make sure that uh it, it helps so that you don't get to have uh, infection because uh, it's very hard when you get infection or you had uh, your uh, c-section it's something else because it can cause you to have another problem so this is why you have to take good care of yourself uh, the other thing that you need to know is that uh, after the c-section you have to expect uh, not to move so straight because uh, you have the pain you will be like uh, maybe laying low a little bit like this maybe trying to go walk into the bathroom or maybe trying to just take a walk just in the uh, within the room so you don't have to force yourself i'm sure you will get also some back pain you have to expect that uh, but uh, uh, the other thing you have to know is that uh, uh, the passing of gas is another thing that uh, is so painful and also you have to to know also not really that painful but it's something that you have to expect when you have a operation you get to expect puffing anyhow so <laughs> you have to know that when you have visitors coming to visit you or stuff like that they have to expect that stuff like that but you don't have to keep it inside you have to let it out because when you get to have a lot of gases again it's another problem you get to have some pain so you have to try by all means let out that gas you don't need to keep it then the the other thing is that uh, uh when you are actually like uh, laying uh, on your bed uh you have to try by all means to lay in a good way uh, because uh, honestly there is uh, that pain of the uh, operation is just so hard of uh, the other thing that you you have to expect uh, because after the c-section normally you have the catheter of which uh, you because you can't be moving up and down so they would actually put that they connect it to your private part and uh, maybe they might uh, take it off after maybe two days so you you have to also expect that after they remove that catheter, you will have another problem of which when you go to the bathroom to pee, you will have a little bit of pain. But you have to understand that uh, this pain, yes, it's painful, but you have to just keep on taking a lot of fluid so that you, the more you just pee, the more that pain keeps on going. Then at the end of the day, you get to feel better. So, so, um, actually after some days when you're actually out of uh, of uh, hospital when you go at home 
you have to understand i'm sorry my baby is actually making a little bit of some noise okay, it's, just it's okay okay so um what you have to understand is that uh, when you are actually out of hospital you have to know that uh, you can't do too much you if you have helpers at home please let people help you you can actually try by all means to maybe to lift the baby because the baby is not so heavy so that is something that you have to know that you can only maybe concentrate on the baby if you have small children like for me i have uh, uh, other children of which uh, when I actually came out of hospital it wasn't so easy because sometimes you find that they want to come they want you to carry them but you try by all means to explain to them to say you are sick because uh, it's very important you can't carry the heavy things so um, you have to try by all means not to do that then um, while you're at home as well try also to do a little bit of walking around the house because that actually helps out with your healing as well and uh, also uh, the other thing that you need to know is that um, at home you need to make sure that you eat your uh, balanced diet because what you should understand is that uh, when you're eating healthy food that will actually help with your healing because there are some kind of food that will actually help you with um, closing up that uh, incision just to make it dry up so fast so you have to make sure that you eat uh, healthy eat a lot of uh, vegetables fruits a uh, uh, lot of juicy you can have uh, more of, uh, water and do uh, things like that so the um the other thing um i wanted to just uh, share is that uh, you please don't exercise until <laughs> later maybe you can wait until your doctor actually clears you up uh, like for me even though maybe sometimes i'll do i'll feel like i want to dance or stuff i just do like a little bit like this because uh, i know that i can't do too much but uh, you want to feel the music or anything like that don't uh, exercise yes you might have, uh, like for me, I have a hanging stomach and I'm looking at myself. I say, oh God, I want to do exercise, but I can't do that. So at the end of the day, you just have to be patient with yourself, understand your body. You are the one who is feeling your body. So you are the one who feels maybe the pain or maybe you feel there's something. So you don't have to be pushed by anyone. Maybe you see other people, oh, they are exercising, oh, they are doing this. Then you feel like, oh, you have to do it so fast. Don't do it. Please don't do it take care of yourself until you feel that uh, now you can do what you can exercise then the other thing i wanted to just add on uh, uh, on to when you have a, a c-section because there are times whereby there are people who do the c-section uh, it's emergency they did not expect that so i felt like uh, i should also include the mental um healing process because for me i've had a, a planned cesarean but this one that i've had for my baby um it, uh, it was something like I, that it, it was giving me a lot of anxiety because I've had another experience with my other uh, child of which uh, it was a very bad experience so it was giving me a lot of anxiety and stuff like that so when I came out of hospital after having my other experience it was uh, like a, you know you get excited and stuff like that so it is very important not to to entertain negativity because that will actually uh, destroy your, your your mental health so you end up getting to be depressed or stuff like that so being a mother you have to concentrate on your baby on your family that is actually very important don't put too much uh, energy on things that are unnecessary things that are not going to add value to your happiness you you don't have to do that so that's uh, one thing that um I wanted to, to share and uh, if you feel so badly like for me I, I honestly I was feeling so bad and uh, I actually told my husband to say I would need uh, someone to just help me uh, bring out uh, all the things that I was like uh, feeling because uh, it was a moment whereby my sister because I was I was expecting my sister to like come and the a day before my operation my my sister was denied a visa so it it gave me a lot of stress even when I was out of hospital because I had 
planned to say, okay, my sister is going to come. She's going to help me this and this. But then I started having, I started feeling to say, no, it was like uh, too much for me. And uh, I actually had, uh, while I was in hospital there, I actually uh, had, uh, um, uh, 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 is it the a psychologist i think something like that i had this person who could come and visit me help me to just bring out everything that was actually in my heart and she also allowed me to cry though when you have a, a, a operation crying and laughing is something that uh, makes you feel pain but uh, she told me to say it was very necessary because i was feeling so bad while i was uh, there in hospital and so i had to like uh, go through a process of crying and uh, just letting uh, out anything that was inside me and stuff like that and i feel like that was so helpful you know sometimes when you feel a little bit depressed and stuff like that you don't i don't know whether it's really depression but if you are feeling so low it's very important to share with people because uh, you get uh, the help that you need but if you don't uh, share with uh, someone who you feel like can help you if you don't want to share with friends or other people there, there are doctors who can actually help you so it's very important to do that and please uh, just take care of yourself so this is something that i just wanted to share with you um uh with uh this uh uh, process i think uh, so in case maybe you just uh, want to add i know maybe there are people who have had their c-section uh, just here on my youtube but uh, please share your experience uh, share what is it that you experienced uh, how was uh, how did you manage to do with your healing did you go through any depression being a mom and uh, uh, the other thing i wanted also to say is that uh, you know sometimes you find that the milk was not coming i was in a room where i with another person and her milk when she's pumps her milk was coming so like it was a lot and i look at myself because i wasn't with my baby for about um, for some days uh, i think one week plus some days i wasn't with my baby so i could like try to <laughs> to pump and you find that when i pump the milk is not coming so i was feeling so low that i i feel like oh i'm not uh, a mother enough to give uh, something to my baby so some something like that can also uh, make you go a little bit uh, feeling like depressed and stuff like that so you can share your experience if you had the low feelings how did you manage to take uh, through so that other people who might actually watch this video they might uh, feel a little bit uh uh, they might go through the comment and find a little bit of help uh, because uh, uh, there is not everyone that get to have information so we can share experiences so that other people who are not maybe mothers later in future they will find uh, this uh, a little bit uh, helpful so thank you so much and i actually forgot sorry i actually forgot to introduce my baby because i've not introduced uh, my baby like to everyone this boy he's uh, jeremiah um let me just do this hey sweetie oh he's actually <laughs> you don't want to be seen oh yeah okay so he's uh, um jeremiah jeremiah leo nidas uh Bukata. <laughs> so those are his names then at the end time on so this boy is actually one month old and uh I'm not going to talk so much. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to actually subscribe to my channel. Share with other people um, who you feel like they might find this information a little bit beneficial and stuff like that. So, bye.